for the UW just to win that title. This match is finally underway. You did four times the angel Oh, spinning BDP. That was incredible. The thing about our double X's, we have incredible athleticism that people would be too afraid to even attempt in other organizations. You know something new, Stephen? I sat down individually with one-on-one -on -one interviews with all four of these double X's earlier this morning, and each of them told me that they all had different goals in mind they wanted to accomplish in this match. They all had different, had different agendas. But the one thing they all shared similar is that if for whatever reason tonight they were unsuccess unsuccessful of capturing the women's title tonight, the one thing that they, they, that they do not want to have happen to them is being the first one eliminated. Trust me. When these eliminated matches, you take the ultimate walk of shame being the first one to go. It's basically saying you're the worst out of the four. I think it's more embarrassing than that. Like, trust me, I've been in these situations in my life a few times. What's this? Incredible move by Athena. She missing hold has to get out of it because the ref calls rope break. Pink Angel and Stacey Hardy were going at it. Oh, DDT! And I'd like to invite all you folks who are watching to tune in in two weeks on Assault. It's going to be a big show for you guys that night. As you see, many things are going to go down. Of course, we can have all the fallout of Claim to Fame. Two count there. As well as the Mythbusters are going to be in action in the first happy match against Jinx, against Future Wolf, and Randy the Axe. Plus, Pink Angel will be in action. And not to mention, the Captain Cows will be on the line against where where the Convict and Debo will face both Sombrero 3.0 and the Destroyer. And I suggest we all tune into that night, folks, because like we heard just a few minutes ago, that Gene Starlin and Washington Mitchell are going to drop a bombshell on the world. You don't want to miss it. Not to mention, it's the first assault on the path to pandemonium. The next four months, it's, it's like our playoffs of the UWA. Most intense portion of the year on assault. Many things will kick down. And at first, next, next coming episode of assault, the enforcer will be naming the participants of the double X square to spur match and, and the superstar square to spur match. Where the winners of those matches will move on for an Ahmed title match in the main Very event nice. at Pandemonium 9. And this year, Square to Square will be held in Seattle, Washington. To some people, it's just like another visit to, to Seattle, which was its special. You see, two years ago, at Bloodshed, September 2006, there was a match, a hardcore match, between Stacey Hardy and Pink Angel for the women's title. One of the most, most, most infamous moments in UWA history. The match just went too far. It was too violent. Pink Angel actually got profusely bloody and the Washington State Athletic Commission had wanted nothing to do with it. They were offended by this. And therefore they said we were no longer allowed to have a show in the city of Seattle. But after two years of rough negotiations and pleading from the local UWA fans, they changed their mind and decided oh, to this? come back to Seattle. Right, Athena. Wait a minute. Athena just, just did the ring of fire of Pink Angel. Let's get a pinfall here, Stacey folks. Hardy's got one, though. Oh, guess not. Athena kicks, kicks her out of it. Elimination match. I don't really know why she did that here. He wants to prolong this match, possibly. Running elbows. And DDT. Oh. QPK on a pink angel out of nowhere. What the hell? I saw Ariana was here. What's he doing here? Another QPK on a pink angel. Talk about over. What? Wait a minute. Cover. She's distracting you the referee. It's because out of nowhere. What? East St. Louis super kick to, to Stacy Hardy. And now, what? Pink Angel gets back up. Victoria's Secret slam to Stacy oh. Hardy. 
Marcos Ursula, Ursula Oriana with the assist. Pitfall on the outside. And Stacey Hardy is the first one to be eliminated in this match. And now Blue Angel and Athena are fighting out again on the or at the same time on the outside here. Oh no. Athena getting this table ready. This now continues with our first elimination of Stacey Hart. Now it's become a three women war match. Ursula Ariane is nowhere to even be seen anymore. Will that be Pink Angel's downfall? That's the only reason we can assume that she won that she got the cover right there on the assist. What? Are you kidding me? The table gave out just by a simple clothesline. That's gotta be a first in wrestling. Only in UWA, I've never seen the been taken out by a clothesline. And Pink Angel is sure quite resilient. She got up from that table, clothesline that that clothesline, and then that that flying toss with ease. Oh, I mean she's probably most one of the women who could take almost total torment to, of pain. Let's go back to that match. At, going back to that match at Bloodshed, she fought Stacey Hardy and got totally bloody. And it was, I mean, I mean Stacey Hardy systematically, I mean she figuratively dismembered Pink Angel that match. Another game of these posters. And this is what I'm talking about. She, I mean, with, with the women's title is on the line. Athena right in front of us. To keep her down for a three. This is the drop kick off the table. Former partners battling out here. Oh. Did you just see that? A huge draw kick to break that action up. on the apron. Oh, Bulldog. Oh, but she misses with that. That's got, that's gonna hurt in the morning. It's missing on the outside. Pink Angel breaks that up. Spinning kick. Now we've just seen a lot of back and forth action right here. Supposed to be these three double X's here. I mean, Blue Angel has made it clear that she will stop at nothing to take out Pink Angel in this match and walk away as the Women's Championship. She hasn't been the Women's Champion in three years. And in, 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 in her mind, it's, it's over to It's time for her to be on top once again. And she said the last year and a half, she's been teaming with Pink Angel. And Pink Angel has been basically been feeding off her success, riding her coattails all this time. And now she finally wants to get back in the singles division and become the UWA Women's Champion of the World once again. I'm seeing a team up here. Take down by Fina. Oh, these two are just battling it out here. Pink Angel's watching it happen. Or Athena, I should say. That missed. What a, a vicious electric chair drop to Blue Angel on the uh, on the back. Leg drop. Right now looks like they're taking a fight on the other announce table. What's Athena thinking? Oh, not again. Through the other oh. table. What? You, oh my! You've got to be kidding me! Athena just did a front flip on a blue angel followed by a hurricane runner. That the was the most extreme thing I've seen! I mean, you've got to be kidding me. By a double edge. Open wrist Who right there. Who that kind of action? That's probably the big, the hugest thing I've ever seen exactly. in my entire life in a double X match. Now, I'm telling you, this is what these double X's do. I mean, they love wrestling because this is hours at the gym, hours of training for wrestling all the time, and this is how it pays off with these high risk for me to be able to these fans. Back 
back up from that diving elbow. She landed hard, but right back up. DDD. Blue Angel throwing Athena back inside the ring. Looks like this fight has finally got back into the ring here, where it should be, and you can't get an elimination right about from the outside. Athena missing with that. Now Blue Angel's up top. Pink Angel's got a submission hold here. Athena... Oh! Blue Angel's don't like each other, but they're still working together right, about right now. This is...